welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm going to give you tips for filming art tutorials. Some of my tutorials I film in my studio that has actual really good natural light coming in, but the majority of the tutorials that I film are right here in a room in my basement. Here are some tips that I've learned that might make it easier for you if you're interested in filming your own tutorials. And there's a hundred ways to do each one of these things. These are just the, this is the way that I do it. And the one thing I don't think I do extremely well is the lighting, but this is what I do. Tip number one is to control your lighting unless you're in an area that has incredible natural light. Sometimes I'm filming at night and in the morning and I can't really control my light. So I like to have my studio set up so that the lighting can be controlled. So I use these two key lights that are LED lights I got on Amazon, the ones with the umbrellas. Then I also use these two lights from Ikea to bounce light off of the wall back onto whatever I'm working on. Ideally, I should be bouncing light off of something above back down on my paper. So hopefully I'll figure that out one day and make this lighting a little bit more simple, but this has worked just great for me so far. Tip number two is to get something to hold your camera so that it's stable. This is called a C-stand. You can put lights on it. You can also connect your camera to it, and that's usually what I do. The thing I really like about the C-stand is I can hook my camera up with this little contraption and then hook it into my C-stand to position it how high or how low I want it to be. Also, I would definitely not be filming with that lanyard or the, the neck, whatever those are called. That's <laughs> just on there because that's not the camera I usually use for filming. Tip number three is to control your sound if you can. I used to use the microphone that was on my phone, and you've probably watched some of those videos. <laughs> They're some of my, my most watched videos. The sound quality is really poor on my phone mic. And so when I went to YouTube Next Up, they gave us some money, and I was able to get some new sound recording equipment. And so I got this, it's called a Zoom H4N, so this is the recorder, and then the microphone system I use are these Sennheiser mics. I don't love how flat the sound is. I kind of like a little bit of background noise, but it definitely sounds better than my phone or the camera. For example, this is what the sound is like from my camera that I'm recording on, and I'm just recording on a Sony AI. So the sound is not, it's a little bit not as clear. You can hear a lot of the background noise. Maybe you can even hear like the, my lights. I feel like they're really loud. And then this is the sound using this recording system. So if you want to invest in something, these are awesome. I really like using them, and especially if I'm in my studio, it's super echoey in there. I don't know what it is about my studio, but the sound is not great. This is a microphone that I clip onto my shirt. I really like this recording system. There's a bunch of different mics you can hook onto your camera. So three, control your sound if you can. The last thing, and I guess this is more than four, I, am, I always start these saying, five tips, 12 techniques, and it's usually more. This is my last one, is to make sure what you're filming on is stable. So a lot of times your table might be wobbly and that just makes it a little bit hard to film. So with the table that I film most of my tutorials on, I actually have it anchored to the wall. So I just use these two L brackets and I've just screwed it right into the wall so it's really stable, it's not gonna shake. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have good luck and success in filming your own tutorials. Thank you so much for watching mine. I really enjoyed this process. My best advice, I guess, is to just make it so it's easy for you to do. If it's not easy for you to film, you're probably not gonna film as much. But also, don't invest too much in it. My most popular videos are ones I filmed on my cell phone without any of this stuff. So don't feel like you have to have all of this stuff to film with. These are just some things that have made it easier for me. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. So as you can see, I, I don't know if I wanna be in this one. <laughs> I guess I will. So I sit right here. These sometimes hit into my head. Super annoying. <laughs> but they do give me the light that I want. I think I probably just need something to bounce light back down. That would be ideal to create a softer light. Anyway, these do work. So I got these on Amazon. They were really cheap. As you can see, they're like tearing. And, but these two lights um, provide the majority of my lighting. And I just have daylight. These are LEDs.